and we are back again. We're still in debt, still trying to make money, and still serving all the buses. But first, it's the morning, so that does mean I'm going to have to start allocating buses. So in the last part, we doubled the amount of routes. We also got amazing support from you guys. Thanks for that, guys. And we are starting to make a bit more money. 40k last day made, but we still got to make 520k. And that's even without the loans we've got to pay off. So hopefully, we're going to get more and more of a demand so we can actually start paying this stuff off. Because we've got two contracts on today. Uh, I think from today, I think. Wednesday. Yeah, one of them starts. We've got a rail placement. And then we've got another one as well later today. So hopefully... Oh, there we go. The rail placement. That's all. <laughs> that's a that's a, a lot of uh, runs that driver's doing. Um, hopefully that driver doesn't get bored of um, driving backwards and forwards for nine hours. Um, you can have that bus. There we go. That's one of the rail placements sorted. But that's going to make us some more money as well. To also boost the amount of money we need. Uh, well, well we, we're going to get. Um, and hopefully we can start to pay off the debt that we've got. And make more routes. Make more money. Uh, buy more buses. Get bigger buses. Because you notice know, some of these buses now are getting demands. So that's expected how many passengers think are going to go on that run. They're getting higher slowly but shortly. Which is good. And that happens over a couple days, I'm pretty certain. But there's all our buses rolling out. We've got this bus here doing this run. To be honest, we should probably start some runs that start from the outer parts of the city. Like the, the terminus of the route to go into the city. Because then that would be more efficient for like dead mileage. Because at the moment, the first bus of the day is going into Birmingham at like 4 o'clock in the morning. To then go back out. We should probably be picking up like 3, 4 people. And then going back into the city. The other way we could also try and increase money is to do some night routes. Now, I don't know if night routes will work properly, but they could work. And if we get, like, a route just going in and out, going, like, I don't know, maybe do night versions of the current routes we've got at hand. Or maybe even make some, like, variations of just having nights only on the routes. But we'll see how that goes. The main question I've got today is morning peak. How is that doing? The rail placement is being used, which is good. And it's sticking to time, which is the other good thing. It's getting its three minute drop back each time. Um, I didn't. I don't actually know if we can skip the stop coming back from um, the place, because I feel like maybe we could be able to. I can't even. I can't edit the route anymore. But I could have put the bus stop there to avoid it driving in back on itself. But we can always sort that out in another time. I can't even modify the route either. Ah, it's just a shame. Um, the shuttle service. When's that? 11 o'clock. And it's... Oh my god. It's... It's 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 a 14 minute drop. That bus maybe hope... I need to... I should have found a route to combine that with. Oh, we're getting some late buses. What routes are late at the moment? Mainly. Alcester Road is not having the greatest time. Maybe it's three minute drop back isn't the best. Let's see how full the routes are. Rail placement will ignore that one. They're all getting decent usage, which is pretty good, except for a couple like Soho Road, strangely. So we could probably cut that frequency in the peak time, actually. Uh, we'll put that down to 30 minutes in the peak then. Um, just as we've got to try and save buses here and there as much as we can, realistically. Um, how are these all doing? When he's connect 47%, it wants me to do more routes. I don't have the buses spare. Come on, game. Have we got any contracts we can do? We've got 69 trophy points. What do you want? You want a 90 minute service with 2,900 buildings? Maybe not. And what do you want? You want an hourly service with 3,000 buildings? What? <laughs> and then this one is just a route around Smevic, which is hourly. This is probably going to be the easiest one to do. Okay, shuttle service. Oh, it's not going back to depot. It's doing that for the whole day. Okay, we, we might be two buses down later. Which isn't good because we need to expand our network. So, it's going to be certainly a challenge later on. But, I need to figure out a route to make. And I generally think, just try and get coverage. We're going to do, an, we're going to do the X4. Well, well, the X4... 
it's not stopping there. I've decided that. It's such a stupid stop that it stops there. Um, it goes express along the Aston Expressway. Actually, it stops there now, doesn't it? There, there. It's meant to be there, but we'll go with there just so I don't have to place another stop down. Uh, we'll go there. 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 There we go. Okay, I'm so glad I don't have to put waypoints in to tell it to go onto the Athens Expressway. Uh, I mean, technically, it does stop there as well. Nope, nope, not, nope. Stop, 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 stop. There, there we go. Um, and then there. That's the more efficient route of doing it, to be honest. X4. That's 23 minutes. It's just going to be a every 30 minute service from start of day to end of day. Boom. Simple. Activate bus route. Done. Dusted. Um, what are they complaining about? Uh, ticket prices, driving style, service center friendliness, and then travel comfort. Well, they don't have to wait that long, so hopefully they're not complaining about wait times anymore. Let's allocate all these buses. Okay, now as soon as we've got no buses left, um, slight issue. Uh, let's have a look. Who's making the most money at the moment? Stratford Rose Rail Placement. 16.5k straight away. Um, but Stratford Road is definitely making the most money at the moment. That every 12 minutes in the peak, very useful as well. But daytimes in theory could get cut down to 20 minutes. And I'm going to risk it for a chocolate biscuit to cut that down to 20 minutes. Uh, how are we doing on these ones? The peak are probably needing another bus. Uh, and then daytime again could get a cut. It's a 47 minute journey, which is so annoying it's not 45 minutes. Because then I could do it every 15 minutes. Or at least it's 44 minutes. I could turn it around quicker. Okay, we've just got enough buses to survive at the moment. Which means, in theory, we can't actually expand our network. Well, we could, but we'd literally only be allowed to use one bus on it at a time. But I need that those trophies. Ah, oh, okay. What we'll do is we'll do we'll do the the ninety seven real life, and we're just gonna throw we're just gonna have one bus on it for now. It means those buses are gonna be full and standing. There we go. Ten minute drop back every run. Let's hope this route doesn't get that too busy. <laughs> just realised that the two new routes I've made in this episode don't have a Sunday timetable properly. Now, I mean, it's going to be very similar. Just start later. Stratford Road is on 20k now. What's, what's happened there? Actually, I think it does need to be every 15 minutes. Looking at this, it there's bits where it gets busy. Bristol Road could get cut. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that instead. That uses two buses. We're gonna do 25 throughout the whole day and save a bus. By saving a bus means we can do more routes. Because this today we've made 50k, which is pretty good. Our ratings also boosted as well. It's pretty good again. Let's expand university. 49 minutes. Yeah, we can expand university a little bit. Um, SB. They're getting that one minute drawback, whether they like it or not. Um, <laughs> I mean, worst case scenario, I could go edit the timetable and give them like an hour. Hourly service there and like 20 minutes the rest of the route. I don't think that's going to update for today though, which is the annoying bit. It might update for tomorrow. How's Balti Green doing? We're gonna do another risk. We're gonna we're gonna build a hard one. Boom, boom. Because this does a, another weird route through city, like the um, Hampstead route we had, where it does a loop around city, which is useful when connecting and stuff like that. 
it is just a bit weird. I mean, it also stops there, technically, but we don't need to stop there. So that's going to be another 45-minute service. And then if it gets busy, we'll put more buses on it. How much we make yesterday? 59k? I mean, it's it's not the best. It's not the worst. I'm not sure what we're spending all our money on. Staff. A lot of it was on staff. I'm trying to avoid working hours, though. 56! We don't have a bus that's capacity 56. There we go. We can skip. Okay, 33. 54. Wait, Perry Barry's getting busy. I didn't know that. I love that some of these routes are actually like, because of the amount of runs they are doing, it's like filling up the side of my screen when I hover over it. Mainly because they're short routes as well. The morning peak needs an increase. Like, badly. The daytime could do it with more buses as well, actually. I need to add an extra bus on if I want to make it frequency any better. Then the other route was Hampstead. That was making a lot as well in the morning. Oh my god! It's full! <laughs> and it's every 12 minutes as well. Then Perry Bar decided it's going to come every 15 minutes. And every 20 hour peak. We'll see how that does. It's going to use another bus, but we saved another bus earlier. So... So all we need to do is do... Nine more days like yesterday, or at least better. Nine days like yesterday, or better. And then we can get out this debt. Like here, we've got buses waiting around. Why is this? So actually, they only have a one minute drop back anymore. Now, um, <laughs> got seven buses to survive us <laughs> until the peak finishes. Oh my god, it's a full bus. Generally, I might I might have to, I'm gonna have to make this route every ten minutes uh, in peak. Okay, thirty-seven thousand people. Things you love to see. Um, new route. What contracts? Oh, someone's on the telephone. Hello. Eighty-six people, and you're paying two point eight. I can't do that. I'm afraid. Well, let's add some more research onto the list. Eighty-six people. Hello. Can I fire this person? They, they're like, what? You, you're caught on your smartphone. Driving. Pay penalty. That guy deserves a pay cut. Anyway, what I was going to do was change the frequency of Stratford Road. Edit timetable. In the peak. Wait, did I make it every 12 minutes? I hold that update. Did I do that on purpose? I don't know if I did that on purpose or not. How are that two um, experimental routes going? Actually, what's got the most delay at the moment? Let's quickly fix that. Universe. Oh. 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 Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Borsy Green, how's that doing? Okay, morning. The peak definitely needs another bus. Uh, how's Ham uh, Harbour doing? That route also needs another bus. Okay. While we're learning from this trial, I think what we're going to have to do is edit that timetable. It's a 45 minute journey. We do every 25 minutes in the peak. So essentially literally just throwing an extra bus out in the peak. That'll work for that for now. Uh, Borsy Green. Let's say it's a 35 minute journey. 25 minute frequency. No, actually. Let's do 40 normally. And 20 minutes in the peak. Let me sit up for this. Because then 
we're only going to do a five minute drop back now and we can squeeze some more runs out of each of the bus. I've got no more buses. <laughs> Let's hope some buses return soon. Oh, how is this route doing? And can I cut it? <laughs> yeah, I can cut that probably. Wait, no, wasn't this the route that's perfectly... Yeah, I don't want to cut that. Because what would I cut it to? Cut it and just remove a bus off peak. I could do that. Oh, you need a clean. And you need a clean. The issue is, I now need both of you. Oh, clean faster, please. Oh, I'm just going to have to send dirty buses out. I'm trying, game. I promise I am trying to allocate as quick as I can. Which side? There you are. There. There. There's a bus on that stack. There. There. They're all delayed assignment. They're all going to start late. If they start late, they're going to be always late. Oh, the Nash Express way. Always late. Oh, that bus needs real cleaning real bad. Okay, I think that's the best we can do for this part. We've got some very late buses, to be honest with you. But that's because of the allocation. But we are doing better now. We are actually getting rid of our debt, which is good. Uh, we're getting there slowly. We're making more and more every single day. We're expanding our network as much as we can with the, the amount of buses we're, we have available. Um, yeah, we've got... How much coverage we've got on the map now? 49.8% coverage. We're doing pretty good, I'd say. Assuming as I was... Normally, I'd just go for the cheapest bus. But this is quite more of an expensive -er bus to go with. And I kind of got 40 of them at once to start this company. Which probably isn't the smartest way to do this. But that's the way I've done it. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this one again. Um, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.